So as we said before, a Shopify store is nothing without the apps that you add on to make your site and your customer experience even better. Now, the first thing that we walked you through was how you can take a very bland, very basic Shopify theme and enhance it using Replo. It's the first Shopify app we recommend you get. Obviously, we're biased, but it's going to help you out tremendously. It's not just about building landing pages. It's also about extending the functionality of your theme. Now we want to go into some of the other apps that help you add functionality to your Shopify store in no particular order, but of all high value, let's cover some of these topics. One of the big things that you'll hear a lot in, in DTC throughout the community is this idea of attribution. So when you're doing marketing, you want to know what marketing works. You want to know what ad drove the most sales. So you can scale spend, so push spend more money on those ads, and you can cut your losers that aren't actually converting. Um, with iOS 14.5, which came out in mid-2021, the ability for advertisers or advertising platforms like Facebook and Instagram um, and TikTok to actually co collect the right amount of data needed to help show that attribution directly within the dashboard, terribly limited. 14.5 iOS update really wrecked a lot of stuff for a lot of advertisers. Some brands didn't recover. They couldn't figure out how to acquire customers profitably. And in that period of time, software companies that helped with attribution came in and were able to fill in the gaps that were created with iOS 14.5. Some of those companies are uh, Triple Whale and North Bean. Now these are tools that will help you see exactly what's going on in your marketing channels. It's um, equal parts dashboards all the way to in-depth reports on which specific channels and pieces of creative are actually driving the results of your business. So uh, make sure to, to check those out. Triple Whale, North Beam, you've got other things like Hyros as well, um, but find an, a nice attribution software to help you validate the data that you get um, in your store. From there, you can go look at stuff like Klaviyo, Klaviyo is the premier email marketing software for DTC and, and for Shopify in general. When uh, we look at, we look at thousands of stores a week uh, and we run them through uh, a variety of tools that kind of show what tools they're using. All of the best DTC brands, and when I say best, I'm talking about the ones that are able to grow fast, grow efficiently, and are able to bring customers back over and over and over again. That's retention marketing. The ones that are doing that use Klaviyo to power their email marketing. Klaviyo also has SMS software, so the ability to send marketing text messages. Um, but if you're not wanting to go strictly with Klaviyo, we also recommend Postscript, another great tool to have in your arsenal. Real killers, real focused product within the SMS uh, marketing angle for your Shopify store. Now, one of the things that you'll see on a lot of websites um, is stuff like slide out carts. Uh, so if you add something to the cart, a cart will slide out um, with what's in it. You know, most Shopify themes actually come with that uh, feature enabled. But one of the things that the really great stores around the Internet use are progress bars that say spend this much more and get unlock free shipping. Um, recommendation engines that say, hey, customers who bought this also buy that. Upsell, cross-sell tools. Rebuy is a tool that we recommend that can do a lot of that for you very, very easily. In a couple of clicks, you'll be able to have a very configurable slide-out cart that has the free shipping threshold, additional gifts, unlock bonuses, upsells within the cart, upsell directly to subscription, ton of value, Highly recommend checking out Rebuy to enhance the quality of your cart and your cross sells and upsells in your buyer's journey. And then lastly, we want to talk about one of the most important and most widely debated pieces of the Shopify ecosystem. A lot of people think that Shopify should do this out of the box. Hilariously or surprisingly, it doesn't. But there are tons of apps that can do this. And I'm talking about subscriptions the ability to automatically have a product on reorder. Some apps that we recommend, Skio, Recharge, uh, there are tons more that are out there, some that are super niche, that really help out um, any aspect of the subscription process. One of the things that happened in some of the more recent Shopify updates as of the time of this filming is that Shopify actually integrated 
the subscription checkout into its own Shopify checkout. So before it was a separate checkout, customers had a completely different experience. Now it all feels like they're, they're still within your shore. They're still going through the Shopify checkout. It's all one seamless process. So check out those subscription apps and think through how your business could use subscriptions. It could be something as simple as, you know, you have a consumable and you want to make it easy for people to get it over and over and over again. Maybe you create a completely new product or you find some sort of benefit that you can decouple from your main product or add to your main product, your hero product to um, give you some recurring revenue. And again, going back to our, our metrics conversation, one of the nice things about recurring revenue is that it enhances and elongates customer lifetime value. If you know that that customer is automatically going to come over and over and over again, it makes it so easy um, for you to be able to forecast out exactly what you need, how to plan for growth. Um, your cash flow becomes a lot more stable. It's just a really great thing. So think through how you can use subscriptions in your store today. There are tons of other apps that you can use for your Shopify store. They come up on a need basis. Search for the features that you need. If Shopify is not pulling it off for you directly, there's probably an app for it. If you want to build a membership program, Inveterate, check them out. You can basically create an Amazon Prime-like experience for your Shopify customers. Uh, th so many little things. You want to have a really seamless return process? Loop returns. Check them out. Every single aspect of your Shopify store, of, of your e-commerce experience, Think through it, plot through, if I was a customer, what would all the different things be? Customer service. One of the things that I have used extensively in the past is Gorgeous to handle uh, customer service. It's G-O-R-G-I-A-S, if you're, if you're trying to search for it. These tools make it easy for you to not only give better customer buying experiences, but also help you on the operation side, on the fulfillment side, run a better shop and, and provide better uh, customer experiences on the back end. And then also, if you're trying to figure out how to grow your revenue, but you don't want to just continually plow money into ads, something you should think through is adding an affiliate marketing program to your Shopify store. It's as simple as going on Square Dance, squaredance.io. Um, we're really good friends with the team there. Killer product, setting up an account, getting your brand set up, figuring out what commission you want to pay out. Um, when someone brings you a sale or brings you a customer and then lo like loading up creative, loading landing pages and you're off to the races. So add an affiliate marketing channel to diversify your customer acquisition mix without having to spend more yourself on ads. Uh, and then you can actually kind of like plan exactly how much you're going to uh, um, spend to acquire customers. Well, we'll talk a little bit more affiliate mar about affiliate marketing in our marketing strategy section, but Square Dance and a couple of other Shopify apps related to affiliates. Really great place to check out um, to scale your market.